I just I was just talking for 10 seconds without it being recorded <laughs> so take two uh, this video today is going to be how to install a radio inside of a hot rod okay when I first started doing this um, I like to put music in 90s cars that's what I'm used to 90s cars uh, 60s old school classic car I'm not that familiar with and um, so this is how I did it I'm familiar with music I'm familiar with wires and I worked off that this is my little radio I got at um, Walmart for 40 bucks and um, let me show you how to do it so this is the radio you're gonna get um, any type of radio it's all the same it has the same little connections on the back now um, these are the main important wires the yellow the red and the black okay these are the main important wires this is just a radio I'm not trying to hook up a system speakers subwoofers just the radio just music everything else the green the, the gray the white the purple those are all speaker wires those go to speakers um, but the yellow the red and the black is what turns on the radio okay now that we got that done the yellow um, the yellow wire is constant power okay the red one is um, regular power and um, the black is the ground the black is the ground okay now this is how I did it the red wire I hooked it up to another wire okay a longer wire an extended wire and to turn on the red wire which is a power I used I used um, a fuse to turn it on I plugged it into a fuse see that up there all of these are fuses I hooked it up to the fuse okay before doing that I did the yellow and the red I put them together and then I hooked it up to the fuse that's not the right way to go about it for me because I have to push a lot of current a lot of I have a big system right so every time I turn on the music crank up the music it would shut off on me because it was pull, it was trying to pull too much power from a little fuse so the red wire goes straight to the fuse straight to a fuse it goes in in there to a fuse the yellow wire goes to the battery goes straight to the battery so you need a long cord right and for me personally I didn't want to hook it up to the battery because it's a bitch to get that wire through the firewall for me okay so what I did was instead of hooking it up to the positive on the battery I hooked it up to the positive on my capacitor in the back which is hooked up to my battery there it is right there that's the wire and it goes all the way down through here it goes all the way to the front so that um, my power this is my constant power okay if that makes any sense the constant power is um, what I learned is save my settings this saved my settings so this is the constant power that saves your settings and this shuts off when the car shuts off you hook it up to a, a fuse the red one it shuts off when you shut off the car the radio shuts off but this is constant power I feel like this is the one that saves all your settings this is the one that that's it's kinda got a string connected to it it says hey I'm still connected to the battery just like the lights I can turn on the lights when the car is off just like that's what that's what this is 
doing. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to make sense of this. But it's really simple. And this black one, okay, this is to the battery. I'm making this video really long. But this goes to the battery. This goes to a fuse. The red one goes to fuse. Yellow goes to the battery. And the black one is the ground. And the ground, just like everything, needs to be grounded to metal. And I used that as my ground. This screw, this screw right there. I grounded it to my metal. And really it's just the power in the ground would we'll turn on this radio. Turn it on right now. There it is. And it shuts off when I shut off my car. So that's it. Um, all these other, these other colors, like I said, go to speakers, depending on how many speakers you have. Um, this other wire back here goes to my amplifier for my subs and the, the blue one also goes to um, the blue one goes to my my amplifier too to turn my amplifier on so these are what turn on the radio in a hot rod and that's how to do it because I thought I had to take this out and somehow have like an adapter or some bullshit you know but Nope, this is how to do it. It's pretty easy. I try to look up a video of somebody doing it, somebody showing how to do it. Couldn't find one. This is how I did it. This is how I'm doing mine. Peace out.